As you might see like, it says like 25.8 on all our shirts on the sleeves. And what it really means is you work hard, you work smart, and you work on your passion. And you get a lot more out of your time. You'll feel like a free man if you hustle like that, 100%. So this is gonna be a four month review of the Andis Cordless T-Liners side by side against the Bevel T-Blade liners. We're gonna start with the Andis Cordless T-Liners first. I'm gonna make guidelines, I'm gonna do outlines, and I'm gonna try to shave up, down, every direction as much as possible so you guys can see and differentiate between the two trimmers. So right now we're just going down with the Andis Cordless T-Liners. They're doing good right now. I'm gonna show you side by side also, like in terms of this cutting technique, which side does better. People have been telling me like the Andis T-Liners pull a bit, for me, they haven't really pulled at all, to tell you the truth. So now we're moving on to the bevel side. Same procedure. These are actually my go-tos now. So side by side, the Andis and the bevel really were pretty even. The reason I've cut down on my use of the Andis is more because uh, some of the screws have been like unfastening themselves a lot and it's like annoying to turn your trimmer off and take a screwdriver, tighten the screws and then get back to your haircut. I just recently came back from LA. I went to do some business out there and I actually went to the Elegance studio. One of my homies moved out to LA and he was getting cuts at Elegance. Blew my mind first off because he was paying $100 for a haircut there and back over here he was, he didn't want to pay even 20 bucks for a haircut or even 10 bucks for a haircut. So there we go, this is the bevel side. Now we're moving towards the Andes side. That's the Andes side right there. So I don't know if you guys can see a contrast difference in terms of what it gave you for skin. I spoke a little bit about barber value in my last video. If you didn't watch it, check it out. But again, bro, uh, value is what they pay, price is what you get. So they will pay for value. If they find your service, your business valuable, that relationship they will pay for. That's pretty dope he's paying a bill now for a cut. Honestly, I commend those guys for changing the way he thinks about the industry. I'm all for progressiveness and understanding the value of what us as barbers bring to the table. I hate the undercutting stuff. I think we should all be getting paid like doctors. Honestly, bottom line. So there's a couple quick facts about my experience with both the bevel and the Andis trimmers in terms of cutting style. Andis really glides across the skin and that's what I've always liked about Andis. The bevel is a different type of cut and so far I've learned to kind of work the corners of the bevel more than anything because it is a big blade but it doesn't glide as heavy as the Andis. Another thing I noticed is the Andis chokes on hair if it's too thick or too dense. The bevel if you if you go over thick or coarse hair that's very dense and it, uh, that it won't cut, it just won't cut it but it won't pull or anything. The Andis is more likely to pull and kind of choke on the hair. I'm just highlighting a bunch of details I've seen, but both trimmers are really good, don't get me wrong. Uh, I love the battery life, I love the size of the blades for the bevel. Uh, on the other side with Andis, I love how it glides across the skin, and I love when you adjust it properly, how great of a line cut you can get with it. So it's really about preference, understanding that bevel is a new tool with a different type of technology is another thing you have to take in, into account when you're using it because you're gonna have to learn how to make it work for you. Andis we've been using forever so we know how it's supposed to glide and how it's supposed to feel. Bevel is different, different technology, different tools so we gotta learn how to work that. Here we go guys, we're about to go head to head. Now let me tell you before we start, there we go with the Andis. None of my tools are super zero grab, super sharp. Uh, just right now because I'm trying to get a feel for the tools before I, I make them super sharp. The Andis, my only problem right now is the on switch is really glitchy. Like it, depending on the vibration of the trimmer, it'll turn the trimmer off. And midway in a cut, and that's really annoying. 
Another thing too is all the screws. I'm, I never really noticed that, but like now with the bevel having no screws, I noticed that the Andis is just jingling and and falling apart almost based on the vibration that the tool's giving off. Now I'm gonna let you guys kind of decide what you think and how they performed. They're pretty much fresh out of the box, I would still say. Like I haven't, they're not fresh out. It's four month review, but. I haven't really adjusted them or changed anything about them in the course of those four months. Right now, I would tell you that the bevel is my is more present in my roster in terms of what I use every day. The and this battery doesn't last as long, and for the most part, the bevel's been cutting better for me. With the evolution of social media and the integration of social media into our industry, we've kind of seen all walks of life in this game, Barber Game. One thing I really gotta say though is we gotta stop hating. We gotta stop hating on each other. Cause I mean, I go to these conferences and you got these crazy barbers up on stage. People who are big on IG and you see them cutting and you're like, damn bro, he's just like me. He cuts just like me. There's no real difference. So at the end of the day, the real difference isn't in the skill level, it's more in the type of person you are, how authentic you are. Um, that's the real difference I see between any of us barbers. See guys, the thing with skills is you can learn them and you can always get better in this industry. It's a never ending ceiling. It's our circumstances and experiences that really differentiate us and create that authentic being that is you. Anyways, I know we're all trying to get to that $100 haircut level right now. You know what I'm going to do? I think for my next video, I'm going to interview my homie and ask him what specifically he saw different and what made him pay $100 for a haircut versus $20, $40, bucks, $50 bucks for a haircut. What are the differences? And yeah, I'm going to throw that in my next vlog. So make sure you subscribe, you like, you comment. Remember we're on Instagram also, at Dams Company and at Dams Sage, the links will be below. And we got new merch out, damscompany.com, go check it out, new merch, damscompany.com. Again, comment below, let me know what you think of the Andes versus the Bevel and what you guys are feeling in terms of what you would cop. Take crumbs, make bread. Dams. Dams. As you might see like... It says like 25.8 on all our shirts on the sleeves. And what it really means is you work hard, you work smart, and you work on your passion. And you get a lot more out of your time. You'll feel like a free man if you hustle like that, 100%. So this is gonna be a four month review of the Andis cordless T-liners, side by side against the bevel. T-blade liners. We're gonna start with the Andis cordless T-liners first. I'm gonna make guidelines, I'm gonna do outlines, and I'm gonna try to shave up, down, every direction as much as possible so you guys can see and differentiate between the two trimmers. So right now 